We're in Chatelet and there's a space invader. It's awesome. I have American friends who live in London and you can not believe it, they wash every single day. You know that's not normal. Washing every day is very bad for you. Do you know that doctors tell parents to not wash their children more than two or three times a week? I mean, we wash our hands before we eat. Some rather interesting fountains. Some street art and graffiti. And that guy over there is actually painting. Look at the ground. That's the Pompidou Center. Okay, now you can see you have two walls and you have roof. And in this demonstration, I will play the role of a pious man. No, I will play, I will be the force of gravity. Now, lad, I'm going to try and bring down the roof, okay? Try, try and resist me. Okay, go up, stay there. I'm not going to do it any harder because I hurt you, but uh, stay there, stay there. You're, you're not done. Can you see they cannot resist me? because I'm too strong and the roof will collapse and the wall will come crumbling down um, unless you have a buttress. Now, what's the name again? Paige. I know, Paige. Hands on shoulders. All right. Uh, what's the name, darling? Shelby. Shelby, hands on shoulders. Now, can you see, just like behind, can you see there's an inner wall and an outer wall? Yeah? Inner wall, outer wall, inner wall, outer wall. Can you see the great stalks of stone running from the outer to the inner wall? The, the flying buttresses. Can you see here we have two flying buttresses? Have you ever seen more gorgeous flying buttresses in your life? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, right. Okay. What I'd like the flying buttresses to do now is you're going to press in on the shoulders. I mean, not with all your might, but just firmly press in. And now let's see if it's made any difference. Can I bring the roof down? You don't believe me, do you? Well, watch this. <laughs> That is how a flying buttress works, ladies and gentlemen. And now you know. On we go. That's awesome. It's a Madonna shop. <laughs> Hotel de Ville. Notre Dame is over there. All right, you lovely lot. Gather around, come close. Cool, I'm freezing my extremity. Heart. Come close, come close, come close, come close, come close. Hey, listen, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to... So that's Notre Dame. Um, I was going to go in, but I needed to go to the bathroom really bad. So I ended up doing that instead. I don't really have time to go in now, but I think I might come back a little bit while later to see if they want to come back in. So, I don't know. So I'm just waiting because they went in. Um, so I'm just waiting for them. So. I got a crepe. First crepe in ever. Of Notre Dame. <laughs> we pulled it from the. Shakespeare and Company. The number one meeting spot for Parisians on a hot day. Every city has a place to meet for a hot date. Plaza Saint-Michel is where Parisians meet. So I'm trying to ride the metro and I just got left behind by my group basically because I was getting on and the doors closed and they don't have any warning. So I have to wait for the next one. This is the grave of Oscar Wilde. Yeah, um, evidently People write in lipstick all over his grave. Yeah, they really do. Like it's covered in kisses there. Yeah, covered. 
covered in kisses. It's crazy. Can you go in there? Uh, I don't know. All of these graves are huge. Oh god, that one has a blanket on. He's cold. He died in 1912. Suddenly he sits up. <laughs> don't blink. Molière's grave. Sixth floor, yeah. and we can go up to the terrace, which is the 59th floor. So, we're gonna do that. Oh god, we're on 198 meters. So, it, <laughs> I can't believe you can hear me. The wind, it's pouring rain, it's super windy, but this is the view that we have because it's cloudy. Uh, you can barely see the Eiffel Tower through the, the, uh, the, through the thing. thing. So you can tell how windy there you go, yeah, you could definitely know. You can just hear it on the microphone. Oh man. There we go, we found a hole. You can sort of see it now. It's really foggy. Really amazing though. Without the raindrops, it would be better. Here we go, now we're inside where you can actually hear what I'm saying. That's a loop. Can't even see it though. Um. Oh, the city's starting to light up. Underneath the tower, um, up there's the Trocadero where we were this yesterday morning taking pictures, and then um, over there is the tower we're in that little lineup over there. We were on that building. <laughs> we saw the flashes coming from this building. Yeah. <laughs> go. That's um, Palace of the Invalids is over there. Um, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we are on the Eiffel yeah. Tower. Yes. <laughs> like three times. <laughs> Alright. at the top. <laughs> We're on the stairs, going down to the next level, just walking down the, the stairs. There's a lot of them. Uh, we walk down the stairs and we're on the first level, this cool cafe that we're not going to eat at because it's ungodly expensive. restaurant that Jessica and I ate at last time. We actually sat, uh, these people are going to be freaking out because I'm filming them. <laughs> sat right there at that little tiny thing. 
it's like so packed in We're at a restaurant and we all got food and really? Peter's going to <laughs> Why would you do that? Yes. Peter's going to have frog legs. Checking out the restaurant. <laughs> Catherine got mushroom soup. We all got uh, French onions. This is James. Yeah. This I is totally remember his name. It's fine. Yeah. No. Uh, I didn't he, get food yeah, anyway. Yeah, he didn't get. Yeah, he's not eating. No, he's eating later. So hopefully it's good. Okay, we're done eating. Now we're going back to the hotel. Um, it was really good, awesome food, and I'm glad we went out and had some good French food. <laughs>